ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. We have a whole host of new equipment coming out uh, this coming week on the 10th of March. The Borgalt pack is being released. Borgalt, I think, something like that. Borg Galt. <laughs> it's a uh, series of planters and cultivators and weeders that are meant for huge equipment. And if we look at the biggest ones the game came with, we have the Seed Hawk, which is 25.6, and then the Borgalt's the next one with uh, this guy, 30. Yeah, so it is It is about uh, 11, 12 feet wider, maybe 15 feet. It's also much more expensive. Both of these are more expensive. <laughs> They're really high price compared to the, the Vader stat. Um equipment maybe they do more in real life i don't know they have the same crops that they plant but uh, anyway this is a new dlc coming out this coming week and uh, we'll get a get a, a sneak peek thanks to giants uh so here is the borgalt cultivator this is the cultivator that comes with the pack requires all these implements are between five and six hundred horsepower so you're looking at running some big tractors um, over here we have a cedar. This is the only one that's smaller. It runs a, it's a 250 or 260 horsepower requirement. Um, so this is the smallest one that it comes that you can get. It holds both seed and fertilizer. Um, these are cedars again, so they're not planting corn or sugar beets. They're planting things like wheat and grass and barley, oats. So it's a cool cedar. And we'll we'll put some of these into operation so you can see them unfolding and all that good stuff. This is the, uh, I think this is the small kit. First of all, we're looking here at, what is this guy? This is the connector. I think I have these next to the wrong ones. No, that's the smaller one, yeah. So this is our um, first cedar. It's the cultivator slash cedar portion, and then we have the air cart. Yeah, this is the 70, 74. 950 Bergolt uh, air cart, and this holds both seed and fertilizer, and then, of course, you connect it to this, and you have your full system there. And we're used to these. These have been in the game since FS17 with the Big Bud packs, so things like this. Not these, not this brand, but uh, we have two weeders that came with the pack, uh, the XR770 uh, weeder. One of them is, I think, 70 meters. The other one's 90 meters. being the largest meters in, our weeders in the game now. so, And they call them a harrow. So. Here we have a um, the large air cart. This is the big one that, <laughs> that it comes with. And you can see here, it just comes with double wheels. The other one you can get with single or double, but this one, you, you know, it's forced. It just comes with doubles. And you can see the size of this uh, cultivator slash cedar. Um, here, I mean, it's just huge <laughs> and it unfolds. It do, unlike the other ones, it does not unfold, um, like a spider. It kind of just spreads out. So you tow it like this and then you spread it out. And I think the star of the show <laughs> everyone's going to be excited about is that we finally have a giant deer, giant deer. <laughs> we have a John Deere, uh, nine RX, uh, series, um, and that is, of course, a 9620. You can get uh, 9570, I think. Let's take a look at the shop and see what models are available. There's, you know, obviously they're all the same, but the the engine power goes up. So um, here it is. And it's a gorgeous model. 9470, which is 517 horsepower. 9520, 572. 9570, 628. And 9620, 670. Because they, they don't line up. The other thing you can do with all these tractors is you can make them wider. And that's, I have mine set up. I have one narrow and one wide just for demonstration purposes. Um, you know, obviously with the 650 horsepower, 670 horsepower, you can pull this cart set up here. But I would say Big Bud is probably a little bit more. And they're both good. The Case tractor... The largest Challenger tractor, the Quad Track, can do it. Probably the large New Holland tractor. 
It's funny, those all – well, Big Bud didn't come with the game, but it came right away once the game came out. It was free. So it's funny that they – made us wait for this one but maybe they just wanted you know john deere and then we're working on making it right and john deere wasn't happy or something who knows but they've thrown this in here as an incentive to buy this pack because to be honest with you we already have all these things in the game now the one thing that bothers me about this dlc and uh you know i'm excited about it i think it's really cool i would still buy it even if i didn't get it for you know for trial um you know but i would still purchase this because it's only like seven or eight bucks and it does add some cool new equipment, but it doesn't add anything new to the game. Um, or unique, I should say. We already have most of the, except for maybe the weeder, because the weeders are huge. We don't have weeders this big yet, but now we do. Uh, but unfortunately, they don't add anything new to the game. It's all just more air carts. This is a cool big seater, though. I like, I love this thing. This is really cool. Um, and then, of course, we have a, a pretty large cultivator, too, but we have all this stuff already. So I'm a little disappointed that way. But then again, the price is good. It's not overpriced. And once again, people that complain about the DLC prices, and this always gets me when I put these up, there's always there's never going to be somebody that's like, it's too expensive. I will quickly point out that DLCs for a lot of other games, and I play several different types of games, different games, including World of Tanks, you know, a tank, a single tank runs up to 50 bucks, 60 bucks, and, uh, then also, at the same time, you know, over on Train Sim World, which is a game that I play pretty frequently, uh, the average single train engine with a couple, um, usually comes with a couple scenarios, you know, to go along with it, is nineteen ninety nine. In fact, even if we go back to the very low graphics uh, Train Sim 2020, we're still looking at 20 bucks per engine, 40 or 50 bucks for a route. So, I mean... Seven ninety nine for all this equipment is not a bad deal. I think that if you're if you're complaining about the price on this, then either you don't have any money, which is fine because I don't either, um, and I would have to wait to buy this because I don't even have like enough to buy it right now. Um, but I would buy it at some point. Or you just don't like farm sim and you don't. I mean, but I get it. And, and once again, now not buying it because you don't like that it doesn't offer anything new is something completely different. Uh, if you're not happy with it and you buy something else because you feel like this doesn't have anything new in the game, I can understand that. But complaining about the price, the price is not bad, honestly. You're getting two, you know, a tractor with two variations and a bunch of new equipment, at least a new brand anyway. And uh, that is, um, you know, not a bad price. So I think it's either seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine, but either way, it's under ten bucks, and you're getting a lot of stuff with it for the price that you pay. So uh, anyway, that is my feeling on is it worth it? Yes, I think it is. Uh, let's go ahead and get these out to the field and unfold them. Uh, this will take me a couple minutes, so I will be right back. Now, one thing I've noticed, and this is one thing that I like about FS19, is that they have made it so that you hook up the hoses. So watch this. You can see the hoses there on the, on the hitch. And when I back up to those, ta-da. So we have the hoses there, and it connects up to the air cart. Uh, I'm going to try to get these connected. Uh, one of the things that I'm noticing about this that's a little different than, well, I guess it's really not different than the other one uh, that's in the game already. These are a pain in the butt to get hooked up together because <laughs> it doesn't back straight. It kind of like weaves all over the place, and you've got like you're dealing with like a double dolly system a lot if you're using this tractor to do it. might be easier to use just a regular wheel tractor to push these together. Um, simply because there's not so many like moving articulating parts so things respond a little quicker but i got it so that's our first cart and uh, i'm going to run it out to the field i'll be back okay we're in a nice open field here and i'm going to unfold it so you guys can see so even this one is very wide when you open it up it's the smaller of the two um and i don't have any seed or anything to put into it but i just want you to see the uh, the folding operation what it looks like when it's working um raise it i think it's is it just lowered let's see here there we go so oh wow so it internally lowers you see that that's cool so the actual main frame does not lower down to the ground the unders the insides unfold that's really cool i love the way the hoses move independently and now you can see i'm just gonna it may or may not cultivate because we don't have we're not actually seeding so I'm going to try the delicate operation of filling this thing up in the field. 
so the first thing we're going to do is unload this. I don't know which goes to which. Some of these are going to be fertilizer. Some of these are going to be seed. So we need to get the combo right, and we need to get this right over it, too. Well, I finally got it. It's unloading now. So I'm going to do the same for the fertilizer, and we'll, I'll show you the transition between the two hoppers. But what a pain in the butt that was. And it dumps off into the ground. It's weird. All right, so I'm going to... Now we're going to open up the fertilizer. Now this is neat. The thing stays in the same place, so hopefully between the two of them we'll be able to get the fertilizer just to go right in. So I need to figure out what the command is to get it to the other. Pipe in, open cover now. And there we go. There's the fertilizer. So we filled it up in field. Not necessarily the easiest thing to do, but we did get it. So now I know I need to put the pipe to the right of it. I wonder if I can actually get it on there, but I'm not going to bother. For the video's sake, we just need to get it filled up. So um, I'll try to fill the other one at the shop before I bring it. That one's going to be more of a pain because it's huge. So we might bring some of the other equipment out, and then we'll look at the big cedar last, I think is how we're going to handle that. So let's go ahead and jump into this, and we'll go ahead and... Turn it back on. We're going to put the pipe away. And you'll see it transition here and fold up. There we go. And it's closed. And we're going to go ahead and lower it. It's hard to tell if it's raised or lowered. That's the only thing I don't like. It's not. It doesn't show it graphically that it's raised or lowered. So uh, let's see here. Oh, there we go. No, there it goes. Okay, now it's showing it. All right, so. We're going to go ahead and seed, and look, there we go. So like I said, if you have the seed in there, it actually does tear the ground up, and that's what it's supposed to do. It, it, this is a seeder slash uh, cultivator, and so it cultivates and seeds at the same time. That way you don't have to do a cultivation stage. So let's go ahead and bring some of the other equipment out, and then we'll take a look at the bigger air cart um, with the bigger seeder uh, because this is just huge, man. <laughs> This is going to be a real pain in the butt to back up, I think. Come on, buddy, catch. Uh, it's just maybe not enough horsepower to do this. Nope. <laughs> can I go forward with it? Let's see if we can get it. It's the wheels. It won't. It can't push the wheels around. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. And we are pushing the follow me mod to the test with all these trailers, and I'm pulling every piece of equipment over to the field now. And uh, definitely having some frame rate issues. <laughs> it's a lot of big equipment. Oh, that guy's getting lost. Let's see if he gets it. Hang on, we'll slow down a little bit and see if they get caught up. They're getting tangled on that bale back there, but looks like everyone's following, so that's good. And, yeah, I'm killing all my crop. Once again, this is just my test farm. How do I get $99 million or $87 million? Well, I cheated it into the game, all right? So I edited some XML files, and that's how I got the money. Inevitably, somebody somewhere is going to ask me, where did you get all the money? That's where I cheated. I'm going to swing between these trees and run that sign over. Oh, the sign's even not real. All right. Once again, though, how would you operate this? Like, you'd have to almost have a smaller cedar to do the field edges. Because this is, like, really difficult to maneuver. I don't know. They're going to hit me again. But you can see, even with Big Bud, this just dwarfs my tractor. So it is a huge piece of equipment. It's, like the <laughs> it's giant. All right, so let's handle Big Bertha next. We're going to unfold this thing. and it's, Look at that unfolding. That's really cool. wish I could get my camera. I guess I could hop out and see it. Maybe you would watch from here. And it does pull the cart forward or the tractor back. It pulls both. Look at that because it's stretching out. And I'll do that again from the cab. Very A lot of moving pieces. I mean, that's pretty intricate. Once again, we'll watch it fold up. You can just see the size of this cedar. It's going <laughs> to totally tweaking the air cart. You might want to unfold it. In fact, honestly, you probably are going to transport this in two separate pieces and then assemble it in the field. Oh, let it go all the way. It's pretty neat how it pulls those up separately like spider legs. And it pulls up that side. That's pretty cool stuff. So let's go ahead and unfold it. Yeah, once again, I would fill the air cart up before I, un you know, have the cedar attached to it and stuff. Just, you know, obviously field maintenance on the side of the field is a lot easier than trying to do it on the field. But we're going to pull forward a little bit so when we get that 
tender out here. And unfortunately, there's really no good way to get close to it to see the cart operation, but we're going to select the cart. I'm going to put the pipe out, and I believe the first, once again, the first section should be seed, and then the second section should be fertilizer. So there's that. And once again, we are definitely going to run into a problem when we try to do this. So I'm going to turn this way. Once again, we're totally... I want to get some space in there so I can get the tender in. So I'm going to go grab the tender, and we'll be right back. All right, I've arrived with the seed tender. Let's see if we can get this thing to fill up. <laughs> oh, I get it. There we go. Very touchy. So you might be better off just buying a bunch of pallets, and you can hold the pallet over it, or if you want to drive it next to it, that's a real pain. But if you're there in a nice straight line, you could do it that way. This is just kind of a – that's how these, these uh, large seed carts work. It's not – to me the greatest thing in the world they could have made it a little bit easier but eh, whatever you not so that's what that looks like and i totally forgot to put the pipe away so that would break it putting away now there it goes <laughs> oops wait 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 your pipe's still out all right so there's that and once again it looks like the big bud really is like the best tractor for this kind of setup you could use a john I, I did try the john deere earlier on this the uh fully upgraded uh 9rx 670 horsepower it will pull it but to me this seems like a little bit more like what you really should be pulling it with okay so let's move on to the next piece okay so this one we have small hatches on the top that open and those close and then we have the other one opens for i think that's probably fertilizer it's just open next cover so i don't know which is which that's kind of a pain uh we're going to try to do it with this unfortunately this is once again never easy so seed is going in first Let's see if we can't get this to fill. Uh, and once again, it would be easier. I think it's easier, especially this smaller one. It would be easier to do this at the shop where you don't have to deal with trying to get this. To, you know, we've played around with this on the multiplayer server, and it's like, <laughs> forget it. Um, there we go. I got it. Okay. So uh, eh, we did it. That's not too bad. I don't know how many seed this holds, but it, I'm assuming it's more than 4,000. But it might be. It looks like it's about halfway full. So, uh, less than 4,000. Okay. Or 4,000. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> it might be like 4,500 or something like that. So now we're going to go ahead and close that and open the other hatch. And hop back in this tractor. And we're going to pick the... Um, about two fertilizer so fertilizer is now selected and i'm gonna have to i don't see that's this is where the issue comes in we have to unfold this i don't know how i don't think it's going to be possible but that's okay we just want to see it work so that's you're going to have to load it at the shop i mean we might be able to do it with this or if you had a larger auger wagon or a telehandler, and you can hold the seed bag over the thing if you want to make it more realistic. But this is just not, we're not going to be able to get in there and, and get the fertilizer in. So, uh, But that we know that that's what it does. We at least have seed in here now. We're going to close that cover, and we can get it to operate there. So once again, same thing. These lower and raise, we don't lower the whole unit. And off we go. This one's not very wide. I mean, it's a little bit larger than... Actually, it looks like it's about the same size as the Vader stat. So, um, yeah, I don't know why. You, you might, maybe because of the way it works on the field, it might have, you know, in real life, it might have some technology. Looks like it has some kind of boom on it that will load seed bags into, uh, to load it up, which it might be, make life easier in real life. I don't seem to be able to operate that. I'm kind of disappointed. It would be cool if you could actually operate that crane in, in the game and load seed in using that. Boy, wouldn't that be neat, but it's not doable. So, uh, yeah, so that's that for this one. Uh, but it's pretty cool. It folds up nice. And so let's take a look at the pricing just real quick and see. I want to see why or what the price difference is between this and, let's say, the Vader stat uh, seeder in the game. It'll probably be more expensive. I'm finding that with the... DLCs, they kind of are trying to get closer to the real prices. So they tend to be more expensive than the in-game one with the same size. So this one is, let's see, Borgult. 
Borgelt. Um, it's $182,000 for an 8-meter cedar. Requires 240 horsepower. Wow, that's expensive. Um, 8 meters. So the nearest thing to it is 104000 That's 9 meters and $80,000 cheaper. Um, the next thing up that would be similar, this 15 is double the size. So we, it's kind of in its own category, but it's pretty close to the Horse Pronto and a lot more expensive. Once again, though, it looks like it's self-loading, which would be, you know, it, for us in the game, it doesn't really make a difference. But if you're trying to play it realistic, you know, as a farmer, you may want to pick that because it does make it easier to load. Where did it go? It does make it easier to load stuff in because you have that crane on it. Um, that's pretty neat. It's really expensive, though. I don't know that in the game that I'd be picking it for my farm just because of the, the crazy cost. It's really expensive. Uh, all right, next up, we have this pretty large cultivator. And we're going to put that down. And then we lower it. This one actually does raise and lower like a normal cultivator. And there you go. It is a cultivator. It does what a cultivator does. <laughs> Cultivates. Nothing fancy there. It is a pretty large unit, though. Requires a lot of horsepower. Um, yeah. So you can off, you can buy that. <laughs> Neat. Okay. Enough of, enough of that. So we have these weeders. Let's go ahead and unfold this. And uh, basically all this is is a giant weeder. Uh, the one behind me is the same thing, just a little bit. I think it has two one more of these squares on either end so it ends up being each one of those must be 10 meters and it so it makes it 20 meters larger and all you do is take this and when you have weeds growing first stage crops you weed them using this first stage weeds too you can't once the weeds are grown up and have flowers you can't use this but there's that one and then there's the 90 meter one which is here it is much larger i'm gonna have to move no no wait <laughs> I started to unfold it, and I don't want to do that yet because it's way bigger. It's going to hit that house. I don't think you're really supposed to be moving when it's unfolding. You're probably supposed to sit still. So you can see it's one more square wide on either end. Um, so those are the two weeders. And then last but not least, I think probably... Once again, the thing that people are going to be most excited about, again, is the John Deere 9RX tractor, which comes with this pack. And I, it's cool. Like I said, I, you know, honestly, most games would give you this for, you know, $9.99 so, or $8.99. But this is a really nice tractor. It's got cool details. It looks really good. Um, I did play around with the 9RX that came with uh, the mod one that was out there. And this is a much nicer looking model. Um, the other one wasn't bad, but this is nicer looking. Um, and it's a different model, I believe, than the one that we had. But there's there's just a lot more detail when you get close up. Rivets, stuff like that. Look at that. I mean, it's just really, really well detailed. The other one was good, but this is better. Uh, not a ton better, but it's better. Um, so that's the big deal. Once again, it has the wide stance. This is the wide stance one we're playing with right now. There's also a narrow stance one. Um, so once again, do I feel like it's worth it? You know, I definitely do. I, I like big equipment like this for larger maps. So if you're playing a big map, obviously, this is going to be a good equipment set to buy. My only complaint is that uh, it's really, really high priced. Like, to get this larger uh, air cart along with the Cedar, you're looking at $800,000. That's a lot of money uh, farm-wise. So you're going to have to give yourself some kind of, like, massive, quote-unquote, government loan just to get the equipment, or your farm has to be really, really established to be able to just dump a million dollars into a cedar. So that's my only, you know, the only thing that that's down, a downside, I think, with this. But like I said, for the price, I think it's a good deal. And uh, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth look, uh, first look at uh, the Borgalt pack that is coming out uh, on Tuesday. Enjoy the video. Uh, once again, coming out March 10th. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. See you next time. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up, voice up. Bye.